Welcome to Tank Tuesday, folks. And if you're new to this channel, we have a 300 gallon aquarium. We've got two pet bass named Bonnie and Clyde. We got a big bluegill named Sheriff. We've also got some crawfish in here. This is Bonnie, our bigger bass right here. And then Clyde's hiding up under Stonehenge back there. But we put out videos every Tuesday with different experiments or different feedings with these fish. We also have some crawfish hiding up under the logs and rocks. And so this is our 10 gallon minnow tank and this is our 55 gallon tank where we also have a couple of small bass. This is Moby right up here in the front. He always steals the show. And then McCoy, his twin over here in the right. We got some catfish and other fish and snails and things like that that we'll talk about later on. But today we have something special for you. So this weekend, we actually woke up with snow outside and just to tell you how rare that is here in South Alabama, as long as my animals have been alive, they've never experienced snow. And since we've lived in this house, we haven't ever had snow. So we're sitting really close to the Gulf of Mexico down here around the beach and snow is just extremely rare here. So we decided we'd add in a little special touch for Tank Tuesday and run some tests in these that include snow and how bass react to snow. All right, so we're gonna run a couple of tests. We're gonna drop snowballs in the tank just because I wanna see how a fish would react to a snowball. I have a feeling that some of these fish may actually try to strike it or eat a snowball. And then the second test is we're gonna make it snow in these tanks and we're gonna see how that cold ice and snow affects the feeding behaviors of bass. I've heard in the past that it'll really make them eat good. So we're gonna make it snow in both tanks. But first, let's go in with some snowballs. All right, we're gonna go in with a small snowball the size of a shad. I'm gonna drop it through the net and see if we can get them to eat it. Yep. They swiped at it and now it's melting. Bonnie's thinking about topwater snowball blow up. All right, a little bit bigger this time. I doubt they'll even swipe at this one. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing to us? And now it's getting cold in here all of a sudden. All right, so no action on the snowballs. All right, now we're over here at the 55 gallon tank with Moby and McCoy. We're gonna see if they're interested in eating a little snowball. We got a little small one here. All right, let's drop it in. Ooh, he ate it. <laughs> he ate it and then spit it out and then McCoy got the rest of it. All right, let's drop one more in. No, nope, they learned their lesson. Topwater snowball is not gonna happen. He wants to, he just can't do it. Well, as always, I knew Moby would give us a little bit of action with snowballs. Now on to the next test. All right, Liz, you get one shot with a big snowball. Show them how big the snowball is. One shot. Go. <laughs> he went for the head. <laughs> going for your body all right so now for the next test I'm gonna put some snow on a plate we're gonna get a couple plates of it and just drop it in up here on the surface and it's gonna simulate actual snow in the tank and then we're gonna feed them some minnows and see if the snow affects their eating I've heard in the past that it was actually good to fish in the snow that the fish get more aggressive and eat more but we're about to test that out all right we're just gonna scrape some off on a plate I don't want to pack it in I just want it to be that soft ice all right, that's one plate. All right, two plates of snow. All right, it's snowing in Tank Tuesday. That all got blown over to the left side. We'll put the next batch right in the middle. You can tell it's starting to melt a little bit and I'm sure they're about to get cold. Alright, one more plate and then it's time to feed them. It's getting cold, Sheriff. All right, the snow is just about melted. We're about to drop the minnows in. Oh, feeding frenzy. Definitely didn't seem to affect them. Yep, they're all three up and eating. Clyde may be eating a little bit more than normal, so 
and they have a little snow feeding frenzy. Yeah, he's definitely eating more and more aggressive than normal. Well, I think that answers that, guys. You should be out there fishing in the snow right now. Even Larry the Lobster came out, ready to eat. All right, now it is time for it to snow in the micro tank. Moby's eating it. All right, they're definitely checking it out. Don't really know what's going on with the snow. Liz, let's go ahead and drop a minnow in. Moby's gonna eat the first one. Yep, feeding frenzy in this tank too. All right, go ahead, Liz. Right here in the middle. Got them. Both of them got a minnow. Quick and easy. That solidifies it. Two out of two tanks feeding frenzy in the snow. The snow didn't phase them at all. Well, the Battle Bass letters are not going in the tank this time. They are frozen in the bucket. Wanted to take just a second to wish you all a Merry Christmas, and we're also considering doing a Christmas edition Tank Tuesday. So leave a comment below on what you think we should do during this Christmas edition episode, and we'll pick one of them out and do it. Happy holidays, folks. All right, now it's time for 55-gallon Moby and McCoy feeding. We're going to drop some minnows in. We got Moby here front and center. McCoy hanging out on the side. Same strategy as always, we drop one in, let Moby eat it, and then as soon as he eats it, we drop one in for McCoy. Wow, wow that was a blow up. He knocked it back out. He <laughs> <laughs> out of the tank. That's, that's always <laughs> interesting with Moby. Let's try it again. All right, now let's oh, go for he McCoy. Got he got both? Yes. Gosh, go get it, McCoy. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. Get it out of his mouth, McCoy. He's got two minnows in his mouth. After knocking one out of the tank, go ahead and drop one in from McCoy there. There we go. All right, <laughs> it never works out. We got Casper running along the bottom and he knows it's feeding time. With Moby, nothing is ever normal. He's always creating a scene. He ate two minnows before McCoy could even get to one. He still hadn't even digested the second one. But McCoy's hiding out somewhere down on the bottom like he always does. Casper's ready to eat. We're going to drop him some shrimp pellets in. Now it is time to roll some feeding clips and answer questions from last Tank Tuesday video. First question comes from Fishing with Doug Ray. Bama Bass, how can we send you videos? Well, if you have any videos of your own tank and you want to send them to us and us put them in one of our Tank Tuesday videos, I'll put my email down in the description and email me that video file. Next question comes from Andrew Stokes. When are you going to get that crappie for the tank? Well, it is still on our to-do list, but as you can see in this video, it was snowed over and that's something me and Liz are going to do here in the upcoming weeks. Next question comes from Jack Statton. What happened to Red the crawfish? Well, the last time we saw Red, he was hiding up under Stonehenge, but we haven't seen him in a while. If we do see him, we'll make sure to update you all in a video. Next question comes from Ben Wofford. How often do you do water changes? Me or Liz will do a water change every week, once a week. Next question comes from Hamid Boy. Are those plants real? Yes, all of our plants in the tanks are real. In the 300 gallon tank, we have a CO2 system where we inject CO2. And in the 55 gallon tank, we don't have any CO2 injection. Next question comes from Kevin Piles. Why don't you drill the bottom of the letters and put a weight in the hole? And he's referring to the bottom, to the Bama Bass lettering. And we're just worried if we drill it, the wood may crack. So we're gonna wait until it gets waterlogged and we've already had them waterlogged once, so I know we can do it. All right, now we're gonna roll a clip from a fellow YouTuber that is showing us his tank setup and his two pet bass and perch. And this comes from TH Fishing. He actually has a, his YouTube channel, TH Fishing. And he shows a clip of him feeding worms and it looks like some kind of small goldfish. Appreciate you sending us that video, TH. Now that's real snowflakes. 
I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you can follow along with us every Tank Tuesday. And also leave a comment below letting us know what you'd like to see in upcoming Tank Tuesday videos. And we'll see you all next week. Children.